Uh, thank you. It's it's really honor to be here and uh, share you you guys uh, the story of our our club where I worked for for ten years and uh, have heavily heavily involved with the, with the story. I'm I'm going to tell you now. Uh, Karinan pojat is, is uh, from a city called Karina, uh, next to Turku, which is from the uh, west coast of Finland. And uh, there's about 32,000 inhabitants. Uh, so, so as you can see, the uh, number of, of people who are involved with, uh, with this club from that city is quite remarkable. Uh, uh, the clubs. Uh, aim is to, or goal is to be a top level club in a, in a player development. And uh, it doesn't mean that the, the club aims to be in a top league or anything, it just wants to help the players go forward. And, uh, and also, the club wants to be uh, heavily involved with the, with the com community's work and uh, uh, offer different kind of opportunities to, to people to be involved with the club. And that's, that's something I'm, I'm going to open later on uh, more, but uh, that was one of the biggest reasons the club was, was nominated as a sports club of Finland uh, earlier this year. Uh, what, is it, what it is on the field? Well, of course, when, when a football club wants to be uh, top level uh, player development club. It needs to have the first teams who are supporting this this goal, and and uh, that's 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 why the first teams are are playing on that level. They are not want want wanting wanting to go forward. That's that's the level they uh, what is reasonable in order to to help those players. Uh, like I said, the uh, club is uh, working very, very heavily within its own, own community. It's working with uh, with with uh, daycare centers, with uh, with the schools, with senior citizens, with with uh, kids and youngsters with uh, different kind of disabilities. And uh, like I said, they are, the club is offering uh, different kind of ways to be part of the club. So if you are for example, the senior citizen has no no friends or feel lonely or something. This club has has uh, different ways to to that that senior citizen to come come into the club and be be like a supporter or or, or just a member. But but still, uh, the club wants to be really really big part of that community, and that was the one of the biggest reasons behind this nomination, like I said before. Uh, there's few, few numbers uh, from, the, from the success, uh, from, from the player development side. Like there's players who are playing in the top leagues and, and uh, in the junior national teams, and one, one of our players is playing for the Women's A national team and as a pro in England. So uh, the club has had uh, good success in the, in these past few years in the field as well. Uh, the club uh, club structure has been quite flat until this year. Well, there's going to be quite remarkable changes, and I'm going to tell you about those a bit later on. But uh, the club has been run by volunteers or part-time workers until this year. As, as you can see, uh, there was only one full-time professional, uh, well, full-time employee. There was a lot of professionals, but they weren't paid full-time. And uh, in order to get that, this kind of success, it needs the vo volunteers to have the, uh, explicit guidelines timetables and support from the professionals of the club. Uh, if, if, if that doesn't exist, this kind of uh, success is, is, not, uh, is not possible. And, uh, and the work for the volunteers in this kind of big club is, is, is really, really hard. So it was, it was 
really, really important that the management of the club, even though it worked voluntarily, uh, it was really active all the, all the time and all the areas. Well, we all know that sport caused something and, uh, and uh, this was actually the main topic of, of this, this forum. And uh, uh, this diagram shows that, that where, where the money is going to. This is a few, few years old, but still, still relevant. And, uh, and uh, as, as we can see, the, the expense for the player per year is, is uh, quite small in, in a smaller kids, the, the under six or five, year, five years old are paying approximately one and a half years, uh, one hundred and a half years uh, per year. But uh, when you're going older, growing older and, uh, and going forward as a player, yeah, the, the expenses are increasing as well. And uh, one, the, there's few things that we have been, um, or we, what we've been discussing last years uh, is uh, where, the, where the money is going to, how, how we can, as a club, how we can uh, impact uh, and how we can guide and, and, uh, and uh, support the teams and, and the parents to put the money, so to say, in the right places. Here we have uh, one, of the, one of the biggest, or the biggest actually, portion or part where the money is going to the tournaments and the camps. And uh, there's, of course, we need to offer experiences for the, for the kids and the youngsters to, from, from these camps and from these tournaments. And, and some, some of them are really important from the player development point of view. But uh, there's also camps or tournaments that are not relevant or not, not important. And uh, they are costing money. So um, it's really, really important that the club takes more control in whole and, and uh, guides all the activities to the right direction. Uh, that 33% 30, is, is quite, quite a remarkable part. And, and uh, taking from that part some money to the coaching side, to the personnel or the facility development, you can put more quality to the player development, you can put more quality to the facilities, and from that way, you can offer much more better activities and functions for the players with the same money that you paid before. Uh, at this point, I need to point out that uh, the club fee, which is 25%, it, it, uh, it includes mostly the salaries of the part-time coaches, the education fees. We, uh, the club is educating players, uh, uh, players, yes, but mainly coaches and other officials. And of course, there's, there's general expenses from the, from the club, like, uh, like office and phones and that sort of stuff. So, well, that's, that's the, one of the biggest issues that we, we have been discussing in, in the club. Well, the money money is coming from somewhere, and unfortunately, the part part of the of the players or the players' family in this club uh, has been too significant. Not not because of the of the amount that they are paying, but in the club's point of view, uh, if if they are facing unpleasant uh, surprises, the like. Players are moving to another club, or they they are they are um, quitting football. It has too too big impact for, for the club's finance. So so that that part part need to be need to be decreased. But uh, uh, after after this nomination, we the club and myself had noticed that that other. Federation, the government, municipality partners are taking these kind of clubs more seriously, and 
and well, I, I think it, it sounds obvious that when you have succeeded, you have done better job than before. You have you have uh, raised players for for top level clubs and uh, national teams. People are realizing that okay, these are doing a good job. It's worth supporting, and from with hard work. You you have uh, you have managed to to get more funding from outside. There's uh, like this federation of municipality funding is is depending on uh, different kind of uh, quality factors, number of players, uh, the the level of of your teams, the level of players, that sort of stuff. Uh, the funding from government is is often. Uh, pointed to to facility development or different kind of projects that are aiming to develop the club in whole. So they are temporary uh, funding funding, but the, the municipality and the federation and, and partners are are more more uh, sustainable. But uh, still. Still, I, I'm I, I'm not sure how it g works here in Latvia, but but uh, in Finland we we are struggling, out, and there's this public discussion as well about how, how much the the sport can cost, and uh, we are we are concerned about the the big part that uh, the families need to need to pay, and and how we are. How we can increase the quality of our functions without increasing increasing the costs. So that's something that I'm going to tell you in a few slides. I have a good club example from my current club, and uh, and that's that's something that this this my previous club, Karina Poyat, is going to going to do later on as well. But let's still stick into, into the financial things. There's potential threats and, and challenges if we are not doing things differently in the future. There's, uh, if the focus is not on, on what, your, what your aim or what your goal is as, as a club, there's there's a there's a risk that the the club, the money is going to the wrong places like I said uh, like the camps in in Spain which does nothing to do with the player development they are they are nice holidays but is it the right place to put the money on or or do you need to go to a different kind of tournaments every weekend during during summer uh, it's it's really important that the club takes control and and guides and and uh, and plans. The activities and and guides them to the right direction. There's really bad examples of a, of a you know like best players in a teams, not not, not in this club solely, but but uh, in in Finland in general, They're these best players who needs to have uh, more extra training or 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 outside. Help from from uh, from different kind of experts in order to to help them to go forward. Um, they they need to be helped because it it can't be a punishment where, that you are good. The risk is that if if things and uh, the the whole whole uh, process is is not uh, planned correctly, that the best players are paying even even half more than 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 so to call normal players in the team there has been examples that the the, the basic amount that play, players are paying per year is 1500 euros per year and these best players in the same team has paid it uh, 3000 euros so that's also one thing that we need to be concerned of So, how, how to go forward and how to avoid these risks uh, and threats in, in, a, in a, or risks and challenges in the future? The club where I'm working at the moment is one of the biggest club, football clubs in Finland. 
We have uh, 15 full-time employees. And, the, and this is the way where my previous club, Cardena Poet, is also going to. It's practically half the size of my previous club. And they are going to have six, six or seven full-time employees in the, in the end of this year. The reason for that is that the club, like, I, like I've said several times, the club needs to have, uh, uh, needs to guide and plan all the functions and all the activities. I don't, I don't, I don't mean that the club needs to be a dictator, but when the club has professionals in sports management, management and, and coaching, uh, they have much bigger expertise to plan football, football activities than normal parents who has been, uh, uh, until now, who has been planning what the team is doing for the whole year. And there's the risk that uh, they are spending too much money in, so to say, wrong places. Uh, when the professionals are, are, are guiding and planning the activities, it's more effective, more efficient, and it's, it's, it's more, well, how do you say in English? Yeah. All, the, all the teams are getting quite the same. There's no, these teams' uh, functions are at this level, and the other has this level, and so on. So it, it makes the whole, whole club better and offers much, much uh, better opportunities for the players to go forward. Uh, it, it gives the uh, professionals to, uh, opportunities to, to work and, uh, and develop the club and the players, but it also gives the volunteers and the parents uh, the support what they are actually needing. Now, now, I know that we are, in Finland at least, we are putting really, really big workload for the volunteers and for the players, play, players' parents to work different kind of things behind the club, uh, behind the team, like uh, treasuring or team leading or, or things like this. It's, it's much easier then to work with, with the team as well in, in this kind of model where the club is leading the professionals are planning and guiding and implementing the activities. The volunteers are a, are a support, supporting side of, of, of the team's functions. It's in, the, in these cases, it's, it's the, for the volunteers, it's much easier to, to commit to the, to the uh, club's activities when, it, when he or she knows that there's not going to be a huge workload coming, or, or, or they know that, okay, in this club, everything is planned and led by the, by the professionals. This is something that I believe that we need to go to in, in Finland and what, what the several clubs has already done. That's my message. Uh, this, is, this is actually the topic that I could talk for, for, for hours and hours, but, but uh, my time is running up. So uh, if there's any questions or, or something you want to know more, now's the time. Ja, tad ja kādam ir um, jautājumi lūdzu gan uh, slaidu aplikācijā, gan arī varam uh, pienest mikrofonu, klāt varbūt uh, ģirt tev kāds jautājums, kā vienam no Latvijas lielākajiem bērnu un jauniešu un lielo futbola klubu. Es esmu ļoti labi informēts arī pa, pa Somijas sistēmu un pa Vantas klubu tai skaitā. Tas ir, es vairāk kārtīgi iepazinies arī dažādās OFA semināros prezentācijās, kur šis klubs ir tā kā stādīts priekšā kā viens no veiksmīgākajiem mas futbola klubiem, tātad tautas sporta 
kultivētajiem, bet nu, redzams, ka viņi šobrīd arī iet tādā profesionālā virzienā un saprot, ka bez tā arī nevarēs pietiekoši lielu izaugsumu būt. Tāpēc man ir jautājums, vai viņi skatās, cik un ir aprēķinājuši, cik tad īsti viņiem vajadzēs šim te elicis jauniešu sportam, lai šie te jaunieši varētu arī pēc tam profesionālo karjeru cerēt. Ja tad no U14 līdz U19, vai viņas viss atdos tiem profesionāliem klubiem, vai mēģinās arī paši noturēt? Un kvēršķi ir about how much money do you need from level from U14 to to the elite level for the players how much money per year for yeah per player per year it depends but but from under 14 to well the median cost for for under 20s in Finland is 1700 euros and uh, it depends on the club but but in a top top level youth youth top level club uh, in those those uh, age groups it's uh, around uh, 1000 to 300 and and forward i know that the, some some clubs like 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 uh, our clubs uh, has has uh, also teams that that uh, are paying more than two thousand euros per year, and some well, the big part is is traveling, traveling in Finland because we are a big country. Um, uh, the traveling is really expensive. So when you are go growing older, you are playing playing in the top level youth leagues. You you need to pay pay big money for for just traveling throughout Finland. Jā, aplaudējam. Mums bija vieslektors Kims Ekros no Somijas.